Hello, and welcome to the operation section of your Circupool SJ series, Electronic Chlorine Generator. This is what the salt system looks like in front of us. Its main purpose is to sanitize the pool. This device does this through electrolysis by converting salt molecules in the water to a free form of chlorine. Before using your salt system, please keep in mind it is important that the pool's water chemistry is balanced with proper levels. In order for the system to be able to operate, there must be a minimum level of salt in the pool water. Once the water is properly balanced with the system installed, it is ready for use. Think of the SJ series as a chlorine generator. Set it to create a steady supply of chlorine for the pool, instead of buying and adding chlorine by hand. Your salt system consists of four components. The control module, the cell, the flow switch, and the clear cell housing. The control module supplies power to the cell and allows you to customize the system's operation in order to meet your pool's unique needs. This is the electrolytic cell. This component creates chlorine as the water inside passes through and returns to the pool. The clear cell housing houses the electrolytic cell as water passes through inside. For initial startup, you want to first apply power to the pool pump switch or timer controls. All LED lights should flash once. If the pump is not running, you may see the no-flow light illuminated red. Once powered on, you'll want to set its chlorine output level by pressing the plus and minus buttons. This setting is unique to your pool size, use, chemical balance, weather, and environment. To find the chlorine output setting your pool needs right now, we suggest starting at level 3 which is a setting of 75%, and adjust as needed over the initial startup period. Measure your available free chlorine in the pool after two to three days and adjust the chlorine output level accordingly. If the available chlorine is too high, lower the output level. If the available chlorine is too low, raise the output level. It will take a few adjustments to find the ideal setting for your pool. Once set for the pool's current needs, it should only take minor adjustments to the system's output level or pump run times throughout the season. In addition to the chlorine output level, there are two other factors that you can control which directly impact the resulting free chlorine level in the pool. One, hours of pump run time each day. For example, you can increase the run time of your pool system if you need more chlorination like any pool, ensure that your pump runs long enough for all the pool water to pass through the filter one and a half to two times a day, usually at least eight hours. This amount of time is typically more than sufficient for chlorination of the pool. But if the pool has high chlorine demand, running the pool pump longer allows for more chlorination. Make sure to measure your water chemistry and chlorine level on a regular basis. Two. In addition to how long the system runs, the water chemistry balance is the other critical factor that will determine the resulting amount of chlorine in the pool. Let's go over the controls and indicators that you'll use when operating the system in the future. Switch is used to manually activate and deactivate the system, powering it on or off. The off position prevents the control module from energizing the electrolytic cell. In this position, there is no chlorine generation. Important safety note, the off position does not remove power from the control module. Always disconnect power at the circuit breaker prior to attempting any service procedure. The plus and minus buttons change the system's output setting, the rate of chlorine production, in order to customize operation for your pool's needs. These buttons are used to control the amount of chlorine the cell generates. Note that after adjusting the output level, the generate, salt, and cell light indicators will not be lit. They will typically light again within two minutes of cell generation. After raising the chlorine output graph to full, pressing the plus again will activate the boost mode. When boost mode is activated, the boost light will be illuminated. Use the boost mode when a larger amount of sanitizer is temporarily needed to contend with high bather loads.
heavy rainfall, or cloudy water conditions. This will raise the chlorine output to max, an additional 20%, for 72 hours of run time, after which the system will automatically return to the next lower setting. Pressing the minus button will cancel the boost mode. One of the polarity lights will be illuminated when the control module is powered on. These LEDs will alternate automatically every six hours of runtime as part of the system's self-cleaning feature. These lights do not require any action and do not need to be monitored. The chlorine output level lights indicate the system's power setting that you will choose in order to customize operation for your pool's needs. The boost indicator light is illuminated when the system is in its super chlorination mode. The generate light will illuminate when the system is actively generating chlorine. Important! The generate light will not always be on. It will be on less frequently the lower you set the chlorine output setting. Example, at 50% output, the generate light will be on 3 hours and then rest for 3 hours. The flow LED indicator will be illuminated green when the system detects sufficient water flow to be able to operate correctly. If this light becomes red, the system is not operating and has detected air or insufficient water flow. Verify that you have proper water flow without air bubbles in the clear cell housing. In case you have a variable speed pump, increase flow until the LED turns green. The salt and cell LED indicator lights will be illuminated green normally. If either or both of these lights become red, the system is unable to operate. There may be insufficient salinity and salt may need to be added to the pool. First, inspect the cell for mineral scaling and clean if necessary. If this does not solve the problem, manually check the salinity of the pool water and add salt according to the chart in your manual. If the lights remain red after cleaning the cell and verifying salinity, please refer to the troubleshooting section of your manual for possible causes and the suggested action to take. If the low water temp light is illuminated red, the system has detected that the water temperature is too low for chlorine generation. This may be a normal occurrence with seasonal temperatures. No action is needed. This is a feature that extends the system's lifespan, and the unit will begin working again once seasonal temperatures rise. This concludes operation for the SJ Series salt water generator. Please see our expected maintenance video to help you with future service. Thank you for choosing Circu Pool Advanced Pool Systems.